Welcome to Digital Asset News, take the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we have some interesting stuff. First up, Expedia is going to start accepting crypto payments, which is an odd thing because in 2018 it had plans to accept Bitcoin and totally scrap the idea. So the question is, why now? And scams are on the rise as Joe Rogan's face is being used to scam people out of their hard-earned Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, which looks something like this. And also, new scams from Chamath Peli Hepatia. And interesting enough, ads that are being actually put out on YouTube, which means that YouTube is taking money from scammers. And that's why there's an ongoing lawsuit between Ripple and YouTube. And we'll go over all that, but let's take a look at what's going on with the market. So today is July 6th. It's about 4.30 Texas time. Looks like Bitcoin is up just a little bit, 2.5%. Looks like 9,200, so great for that. Ethereum regaining some ground at 239. I think uh, lastly, as I recall, it was around 244. So went up 5%, so I'd like to see that. XRP, look at that, 18 cents. Wow. Bitcoin Cash, uh, fifth. Bitcoin SV uh, rockets up at 26%. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe someone can help me in the description or in the uh, comments to see why it's such a big jump. And Cardano has slipped into the seventh spot, but up 6% and holding at around 10 cents. So as we all know, Cardano is making that big push for their main net launch and there's going to be staking options. And also, as I believe, there's going to be a listing on Coinbase. So scrolling down, it looks like everything's up. Litecoin, Crypto.com. Wow, EOS 7.6%. I think there was a launch of the Voice.io, which is the social platform. I actually signed up for that just to see if it would give me access. and haven't gotten access yet, so we'll see. Chainlink up 10%. Wow, making major gains. And there's a big gainer here. Uh, outside of the top 20, VeChain is up 65%. Over the last seven days, now they've took a little bit of a tumble. I mean, you can't keep going up forever, down 1.7. But there are rumors that VeChain, along with Cardano, will be listed on Coinbase this year. So uh, if you are holding VeChain, congratulations to you. Might be something I have to look into. And before I get into today's stories, I need to talk to everybody about the exchange fees and wallet recommendations. So in the description of every one of my videos, there is a link that looks like this. And it's going to give you access to this handy dandy spreadsheet, uh, which gives all my recommendations and my evaluations of different exchanges uh, going from Coinbase, Gemini, Gemini Pro, Binance, Uphold, Abra, Celsius, Voyager. I mean, everything that's that I use or have used, I give a, just a little breakdown of what's going on. So as you may have known, I do not recommend Coinbase to buy uh, any type of cryptocurrencies. The reason for that is because of their numerous shutdowns. They've had four different shutdowns in three months. Uh, and it always happens when there is high volatility with Bitcoin, whether it goes up $500 or up or down. And that on top of the horrible customer service, I just couldn't recommend it to people because uh, as time goes on, what's going to happen when there's a parabolic bull run? I will say this, because I have gone through the parabolic bull run of 2017 and the crash of 2018, I can tell you this. During that time, you could not open up a position on Binance and other popular exchanges because they could not onboard all the people. So the problem was, is everything was going up and up and up. You couldn't get on. And that was an issue when you were trying to, you heard of all these things. You're like, hey, I want to get a part of this. And you couldn't. So what I think to myself is this. If I have to use an off-ramp, I mean, we have a lot of options here. We have Gemini, Gemini Pro, Binance, if you are, I mean, throughout the world, everybody can use Binance, but if you're in the US, like me, I'm not in, I am uh, in Texas, so I can't use it yet, still waiting. Uh, maybe Uphold and Abra, uh, Celsius, Voyager, Kraken is another option, and then the uh, Cash App. So I'm gonna need all the different tools that are available to me as far as like off-ramps, uh, to actually sell my cryptocurrency. So for Coinbase, I feel like we have to pick the lesser of the two evils. And one of those is that if on my last resort, if everything is shutting down because there are so many people selling because of the different craziness that happens, and then believe me, it is crazy uh, when these parabolic bull runs do, does actually happen. Why would I not use Coinbase if I need to have an off-ramp? True, uh, the customer service is awful. True, there's different shutdowns and whatnot. But if it stays up and it's available to me and it's the only thing that I have and I have to use it as a last resort, I need to be prepared and I think you should be prepared. So I'm going to list Coinbase as an off-ramp only. It's up to you if you want to use that uh, exchange to actually purchase 
cryptocurrency digital assets, but I would highly recommend not, about not doing that. You can go through uh, Gemini or Gemini Proactive Trader. Uh, Binance has some of the lowest feeds, fees if, if it's available to you. And then uh, you can take a look at uh, uh, Uphold and even Abra and different platforms. So that is my uh, recommendation. And also, um, I felt like if you're not, if you're just getting into it and you are getting your feet wet, uh, Coinbase is pretty simple and it makes things super easy. I think Gemini is right behind them. They've done a lot of upgrades and I like what they're doing. And also uh, one good thing about Coinbase is they have Coinbase Earn. So with Coinbase Earn, like I've done it and, you know, I've made, and just by watching three to five little videos that take about, you know, five to 10 minutes, I mean, you can earn a substantial amount of cryptocurrency just by learning about new things and i've earned like around 160 dollars or so and that its offer is to everybody now i will say this once a new cryptocurrency comes out and they're they put on uh, coinbase earn you have so much time before you actually uh, can actually look at it and learn about it because they have limited availability so when that happens i will definitely be putting out on this channel to let everybody know like hey uh, there's a new cryptocurrency being listed, Cardano, maybe VeChain. So go there, click on there, use do the uh, the Coinbase Earn, and just make some free uh, cryptocurrencies. You know, I mean, especially in this in this uh, economy, we don't know what's going to happen. So I think we should keep all the doors open, and that just makes sense to me. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that I'm also going to ask for everybody's help. I'm very busy with my different businesses, and I've only got so much time in the day. So there are two projects that I'm really fascinated about one of those is, is the celsius DeFi wallet the next one was just recommended to me called voyager celsius i open up and you're able to store your cryptocurrencies there and it pays you an interest rate weekly and you don't have to lock them all up for like six months eight months uh, a year you can take them out as you see fit so it's pretty interesting Mashinsky, the CEO, the person who founded it, has a fantastic story. He's got a great track record. So I'm evaluating it. I'm going to ask you for your help uh, to look at it. So there's a sign up. There's an affiliate link. If you use it, I they just raised it from 25 to 25 or 10 to 25. So you can get $25 just for signing up. Uh, hopefully they haven't changed that uh, lately, but that's what I saw. And also on Voyager, this is an interesting one. I just learned about this uh, a couple days ago. Voyager is kind of like a Robin Hood type of app. It's a uh, commission free and interest. You can earn interest on your portfolio. So pretty cool type of thing. And um, I have a problem being in Texas, but when I signed up, it actually uh, gave me access. So I'm evaluating right now and I'd like you to do the same thing. I just want you to evaluate and just um, send me some information on it. Um, what you've seen, you can put that in the comments and then just, you know, what, uh, you think about it. If there's any kind of red flags, I need to know about that before I actually recommend it. So that'd be great. But I will say this, what's cool about, first of all, the website, like when I click on, cause all these things I've seen on websites before, like you say, Oh, Bloomberg, Fortune, Coinbase. Well, that's great. And I, and I always thought, well, I can put that on my, on my, uh, uh, website. But when you click on it, it actually takes you to the article where it talks about, uh, the actual company. So I'm like, ah, it's pretty interesting. And this is all legit stuff that I can see uh, so far. There's an app, Android and iPhone, uh, more different information about it. So I think it looks good, but I mean, here's the thing. How many things have looked good and they end up faltering, you know, or are just complete out and outright scams. So I'm not calling Voyagers a scam. I'm just asking for help. If you could take a look at it and then uh, give me your feedback. So it looks pretty promising as far as the team itself. Uh, Steven Ehrlich, or he was the CEO of E-Trade, that up plus uh, also Lightspeed Financial. So it looks pretty promising as far as the team goes. And then I haven't done my due diligence, so I'm just asking you for help. Uh, whatever you can do, take a look at it. That would be fantastic and let me know. All right, so the big story today, Expedia taps Traveler to accept crypto payments. And this is actually, in 2018, uh, Expedia was looking to use Bitcoin, but they totally scrapped the idea. So the question I have when I'm reading this is like, well, what's different now? Why would you accept it now? And I think it makes sense in a little bit. So Travel.com, a Binance-backed online travel agency designed to deal with Expedia, allowing the travel giant's customers to book over 700,000 listed accommodations using cryptocurrencies. So for all the people out there, uh, I don't know where you are at. 
Uh, I am in Texas, United States. If you are in Canada or Mexico or India or parts of Europe or Australia, wherever, um, Expedia, I mean, you probably have access to it. It's like, it's a global type of thing. But if you're not familiar with it, it's one of those places that you can uh, look for different flights and hotels, cars, cruises, and it's like an aggregate. So it takes a look at all the different websites and just gives you some of the best deals sometimes. And uh, it's Works out pretty well for me. I've used it before and uh, it's got a lot of people using it. So when I see these types of stories, I'm like, this is what will drive mass adoption. What drives mass adoption is when you're using cryptocurrency, digital assets or technology in the background and you don't even know you're using it. So I like to see these stories. Anyhow, this opened up a massive market for the crypto adoption as Expedia lists around 70,000 accommodations with over 2 million options available in 230 countries. In 2018, Expedia decided to take Bitcoin payment, but the plan was later shelved. So the question is, what happened? Why did they say, okay, we're going to use Bitcoin, maybe like Overstock.com uh, did before, and we're going to use that? And they said no. And I think if I'm a company and I see the different because there's problems with with Bitcoin. I mean, let's just be honest. Sometimes it can be a little slow. And in 2017, we saw those transaction fees go pretty darn high. So maybe there's another option that they could use. And I think what they needed was somebody like Traveler.com because they offer payment options with more than 30 digital currencies, including Bitcoin. And if you have that option, well, now it kind of opens you up because you don't have to accept just one thing. Even though Bitcoin is the king cryptocurrency, obviously, you have the option of using something else that some other person might want to use. So why don't they just accept that? So Juan Otero, the CEO of Travela, also pointed out that it is difficult to integrate crypto payments options on Expedia given the complexity of its existing infrastructure. So real quick, let's take a look at Travela. I've never heard of this place before, but it looks pretty interesting. So you can do the same type of thing, just payment options and uh, and integration. So my question was, well, what are these 30 different uh, type of cryptocurrencies? So if we click on the dollar amount, you can use all these different things, dollar, pounds, Canadian dollars, New Zealand dollar, Indian rupee, Vietnamese dong. And on top of that, cryptocurrencies like Binance coin, uh, Tron, Neo, Waves, Digibyte, uh, Bitcoin, Monero, NEM. I mean, everything you can think of that you'd probably want to use is right here. So I can see why Expedia wanted to integrate with Traveler because they go, look, if uh, we have to just use Bitcoin and people want to use something else, that's going to be a little difficult. So let's get something that can uh, integrate via an API and make things faster, easier, better. Makes sense. Anyhow, I was kind of astounded by the history of Traveler because it states here that Travel was founded in 2017. Imagine in three short years, you're able to partner with a billion dollar company and really get things going. That's amazing. So found in 2017, Travel also partnered with other travel portals to bring crypto payment options on them. Last November, the startup partnered with Booking.com. Again, I had no idea they did that. That's amazing. Booking.com, another huge uh, type of industry that allows for the same type of thing that Expedia does. It's a little bit different format. But again, they have a lot of different members, a lot of people on their websites. So this is also good. Uh, other big accommodations, booking platform with over 90,000 listings, facilitating crypto payments. With that, the company saw a revenue rise of 33%. So I'd like to see these stories. And this is the type of things that I'm looking for moving forward as far as mass adoption. All right, let's move on. Next up, scams, one of the bane of my existence. I really hate them, and uh, it really hurts to see these people get screwed out of their money. Anyhow, so this Bitcoin giveaway, scammers impersonate Joe Rogan, and they grab Bitcoin from victims. So I know what people say. The majority of what people say is, how can people get scammed out? How can they be so stupid to fall for this? But you have to understand, there are varying degrees of people who are in this space and varying degrees of gullibility, I guess you could say. So if you're new, you're like, well, maybe this is how it is. I don't know what cryptocurrency is. And and they just give away their, their crypto. And I got to tell you, I did a, um, a poll on my channel and we got over around 800 or so respondents. And out of those 800, 40% of people said they had gotten scammed out of their money. So, I mean, 60% of you, congratulations, you didn't. But I mean, things become so much more advanced and so much more difficult to understand that these scams are really becoming a big problem 
It's why we do scam of the day. It's why we help out the community. So this new tool I think is going to be huge. So let's get into it. So Whale Alert, the Twitter bot tracking large crypto transactions, has reported that over the past four hours, two Bitcoin transfers were sent to confirmed crypto giveaway scammers pretending to be U.S. comedian uh, Joe Rogan. The victim sent 1.7 Bitcoin, which is 16 grand. So just for context, this was put out today at 11.28. Now it is four, it's five o'clock now. Um, so how much more have they garnished? Uh, who knows? Because right now, uh, it's a, that's a pretty good day for any scammer. 16 grand. You don't have to fool everybody. You just got to fool a couple people. So Whale Alert now is now tracking this. That's pretty cool. So there was a payment. Of, man, someone put a, someone gave away one Bitcoin. Unbelievable. Uh, so on and so forth. Here's another one. Uh, 0.763 Bitcoin. And it goes on to state on June 19th, Whale Alert pinned a tweet informing the community about setting up a new service scam alert, which helps expose and track down crypto scams. So if you're on Twitter, this is what I'd like you to follow uh, so you can be aware of these scams and maybe even report them. So Whale Alert at Whale underscore Alert, I'll put it in the description below, but it's also going to tell you about these craziness of scams that are going on and hopefully you know let you know and hopefully you can let other people know like hey there's a scam uh, let's report this so get it out of here because all these new people you know we need to protect them because they don't know what the heck's going on so that's fantastic so i've already i'm already following them and i get notifications so if something comes up i will definitely be uh hopefully johnny on the spot to report these types of scams but i will say this this was the scam that actually uh, we had reported on, or I had reported on, and I sent this out to everybody in a uh, in a post on YouTube. So this actually got taken down in like four hours. So I want to say thanks to everybody. You can't see it now. Uh, this was three days ago, and I just said, hey, here's another scam. Everybody pitched in, and they reported it, and it went away. But here's the problem, though. I want you to notice something. This, visit, this video isn't publicly available. If YouTube would have done this, if they would have taken it down, it would have said this video has been deleted uh, for against community guidelines and YouTube would have done something. What happened was you guys reported so much on it that the scammers switched it from uh, public to private. So they didn't get it deleted and they can turn it on at any point that they want to. Uh, so we are the ones that actually did YouTube's job. So thank you so much for helping out YouTube. Actually, we're not helping out YouTube. We're helping out people get screwed out of their money, right? So that's one thing. And then this one just came up uh, today. And the same thing, I put the information out and I said, hey, there's a scam. This was three hours ago. Help me report this. And I, I uh, put in at YouTube, please help your community and stop allowing these to get put through. And it actually, here the same thing happened. They switched it from public to private. This video isn't publicly available. So that's a problem. And I gotta tell you, it's very sophisticated how this looks because this isn't the screenshot. Yeah, this is actually a video. So I want you just to watch this and just see how exactly, how slick this looks. Cause when you look at this, you're like, oh, social capital events, 17,000 watching. That's a lot of people and you can't really see it, but um, on your phone, you can, you just got to scan this thing and it says, Hey, send us 0.1 Bitcoin. We'll send you one Bitcoin back. And it just looks very uh, integrated, very uh, easy to do. But I mean, if you have 17,000 watching, how many people do you think actually got screwed out of their money out of that one? Uh, pretty much more info on Shamath or cham-bitcoin.com. Just unbelievable. And then this was actually sent to me by a subscriber. This is what really gets me. Okay. So, um, I do advertising, I do marketing for my business, and I also do YouTube video ads. And when I see this little thing that says ad, that means that these scammers went through the process of going into AdWords and putting their video in, which was reviewed, might mind you, by YouTube, because everything has to be reviewed, either by computer or by something else, or by uh, human intervention. And they said, yeah, that's fine, you can put this out, and guess what happens? So that goes out, and it gets put into your feed like this happened here for this uh, person and when it comes up they're like oh it's an ad and you click on that oh five thousand oh jeff bezos he got a lot of money before you know it people are getting scammed left and right so if they don't do if youtube doesn't do something i gotta tell you they're in a world of hurt i've been sued myself and i can tell you it doesn't take much to get sued and even if you win you lose because you got to pay a bunch of lawyer fees so um this is the same thing that's going on right now between YouTube and Ripple. Ripple said, hey, you are using so much of Brad Garlinghouse 
or not you, but the scammers, and you're putting in the forefront that we can't have this happen. You've given us a huge amount of damage uh, to our reputation and everything else. We're going to have to sue you until you do something about it. And I will say this. When I see different uh, scams, it's Elon Musk, it's Jeff Bezos, now it's Joe Rogan, now it's Schmoth. I rarely see a Brad Garlinghouse uh, scam. It's amazing how that works. When you get someone to sue you, all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, you know what, we can fix that. But not so much every time. Interesting thing. So look, that's it for today's video. I don't want to go off on a huge rant, but uh, it, it unnerves me that this happens. In my career, I've worked with the elderly uh, for you know a, a, a large part of my career. I uh, work in the medical field, and I can tell you this: um, they get scammed left and right. And it's it's depressing to go to talk to somebody, and they say, "Hey, I lost my life savings because you know they're older. Uh, there's a little bit of cognitive decline. They are susceptible to these things. And with this going on, this should not go on. And uh, if this keeps happening, I mean, we got to do what we got to do uh, to hopefully uh, combat this. So if you got time. Uh, thanks, first of all, for watching the whole video. Second of all, if you have time, let's go over Scam of the Day. So if you don't know, Scam of the Day, we started this back in January because of the same thing we just talked about. And uh, we did pretty good. You know, we've gotten rid of a lot of things. However, there's just one that's uh, just stick sticking around. And if you want to find this spreadsheet, again, go into the description of every one of my videos. And you can click on this. It says scam of the day. Click on that. It's going to take us handy dandy spreadsheet and just go to the very bottom. And this is what we got. So uh, again, there's w the latest one that we had actually got taken down, the Kylie Jenner interview. And again, it's the same thing. I'm going to click on this. This one's done. But again, this video is private. It wasn't taken down by YouTube. They just, they just switched it from being public to private. So whatever. But there is one that uh, is hanging around. And if you could help me out, that'd be great. This is the Jack Dorsey interview. And same thing is, same thing you can see, right? So send us Bitcoin and we'll send you more back, right? Here's a little scanner. I will say this though. I think the ones that, that uh, hang around the most are the ones with the fewest views. This one has 328 views, which is not a big thing. When you get like thousands of views like the one we just talked about, I think they're more proactive. But here is not such a, such a, a big thing, but whatever. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, don't take my word for it. Look in the comment section and then just, uh, you know, see what they say. Maybe all, maybe these people are just haters. Maybe All Right Soft is just a huge hater of uh, tweeting Jack. Uh, so that's one thing. That's a red flag. But what we're looking for is an asymmetrical giveaway. So in this one, uh, no one's sending you free money. I'm sorry to tell you this, but uh, you're not special. No one's going to give you free dough. So... What you can do is you can download it like I've done like 20 times. <laughs> Click on those three dots, report, and just say, hey, you know what? This is spam misleading. It is a scam or fraud. And then you just uh, click next and say, hey, this is a scam. And maybe you can spell better than I can. Just report. Say whatever you want to, and then that's it. So that's all you got to do. And if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. I don't think this one is such a big thing, but when the big ones that I see thousands of views get uh, coming by, I will definitely notify everybody, and hopefully you can help me out. So that's it. So I want to say thanks a lot for sticking with me through the video. Thanks to all the supporters. Uh, level 1s, love you guys. Appreciate it uh, very much. Level 2, uh, All Right Soft, Win Mullet, myself, who else? Dave Plummer. Grant Sharman, Bruce Wood, Baking Benjamins, they do the Tezos Baking, if you're into Tezos. Noah Flippin Vegas, Martin Lewin, Michael Ralph, William Howell, Crazy Crypto Canuck, Tessie Ryosaki Positive, Truck LLC, JC Durex, Matt Slack, uh, John Miller, The Office, El Merg, Michael Jeffrey, The Kel Show, Andrew Herrera, Terry Prosper, XRP Carolina, whatever AE and Hero Soap Company. And then just real quick, uh, scam alert, um, I am also a part of a scams. My email is Dan Digital Asset News with an S at gmail.com. You can find that in the description. Uh, there's somebody sending out emails, Dan Digital Asset New at Gmail, and they're just scammers wanting to do some kind of trading challenge or something. I don't do trading, so that's stupid. Um, I'm not that trading stupid, just that I don't do it, so why would they uh, say I'm doing it? So just uh, avoid them like the plague. And that's it. So thanks a lot for uh, watching. See you on the next one.